TheAdvocateChannel.com looks at the world through the lens of equality and inclusion. Subscribe, like, and share now. AC 24-7's Top Story Countdown continues with our producer's pick for number three. We're in the middle of the Rio Grande. Jesse Fuentes grew up riding the waters of the Rio Grande in Eagle Pass, Texas. The river that I love. And in 2015, he turned his passion into a business launching Epi's Canoe and Kayak. What was business like? It was beautiful. <laughs> Fuentes even organized races on the river, but not anymore. We're securing the border at the border. Governor Greg Abbott has deployed concertina wire, shipping containers, and most recently, 1,000 feet of floating border barrier and netting on the river. The buoys are four feet in diameter and anchored to the bottom of the waterway. A strategy that no state has ever before deployed to stop people from entering Texas illegally. The state of Texas didn't exactly follow the law when it started installing the buoys on the Rio Grande. According to the U.S. State Department, a series of treaties between the U.S. and Mexico governed the use of the water on the Rio Grande. And Texas not only didn't consult with the U.S. federal government before installing the buoys, it didn't obtain a permit. It used to be a beautiful, pristine island. Fuentes points to an island on the river he says Texas also destroyed. Here's what the island looked like on Google Earth. Here's what it looks like now. The island is gone. The vegetation is dead. A road and concertina wire taking its place. It made me want to cry. It was sad. Fuentes filed a lawsuit claiming the buoys will prevent him from making a living. Eagle Pass in Texas. And Mexico's top diplomat complained to Washington, saying the buoys violate two trees between the countries, including one that prohibits construction that deflects or obstructs the flow of the river. Por eso estamos mandando... Mexico is also concerned the buoys may be on their territory. This is our property. Magali and Hugo Urbina say they too have complained about Texas, but for installing concertina wire on their land and for refusing to remove it. Has DPS taken over control of our private property? Yes. yes. Are we supportive of it? No, we are not. But the most alarming part of it all is what they say they witnessed. Migrants needing help and Texas National Guard members just standing there. I asked, aren't you all going to help? And they just sat there and they said, we can't. We can't get onto your property. They told us not to get on the property and they told us not even to give them water. And I said, fine. And then I just turned, turned around and we just kept helping people out. Texas National Guard denies the allegations. The Urbina's account comes after Texas DPS released emails showing top brass, acknowledging an increase in migrant injuries from concertina wire and a Texas state trooper blowing the whistle to superiors about a 19-year-old stuck on the wire while having a miscarriage, a four-year-old passed out due to exhaustion and about being ordered to push migrants into the river and deny them water, allegations the agency denies. Maverick County Sheriff Tom Schmerber says he's never witnessed state troopers mistreat migrants, but he's worried the buoys could mean more migrant deaths. I hope that I'm wrong, but uh, I think we're going to have some people drowning in that area. I want to be that voice for the river because the river can't speak for itself. Are you afraid of going against the state of Texas? Am I afraid? Uh, no. Is my business suffering? Yeah. Is my heart suffering? Yes. Like the Advocate channel on Facebook for the best way to get updated stories that advocate for equality, justice, our rights, and more. AC 24-7 continues with today's top two pick. A trail of destruction left behind after a tornado tore through parts of North Carolina Wednesday. That's crazy. One driver capturing the twister as it ripped through Nash County, 45 miles northeast of Raleigh. Dark clouds and lightning filling the sky. It's estimated to have been at least an EF3 with wind speeds up to 150 miles per hour. The powerful tornado pummeling homes and buildings, roofs torn off, trees flattened. That's my sister's home behind you. That's uh, totally destroyed. My aunt's home right here. That's, uh, that's pretty much gone as well. Uh, my dad's residence took a pretty good hit. Part of the Pfizer plant collapsed. Sections of the roof and walls crumbled. Officials say 50,000 pallets of medicine were damaged. 
Fortunately, no one inside was hurt. We have a lot of damage here in the county at this time. At least four people suffered minor injuries and a portion of Interstate 95 was shut down in both directions. It's since reopened, but the cleanup is far from over. I don't ever want to see another one like it again because it went from sunshine to pitch black and I guess this storm here lasted probably less than a minute and you see what it's done. I'm Jen Sullivan reporting. Follow the Advocate channel on Twitter and Instagram to stay updated on stories that matter every day. We're now at our number one story of the day. Take a look. This is where we started. It's an automated solution for cosmetic and de-aging work. Dr. Jones. Through some technological wizardry, 80-year-old Harrison Ford looks exactly like 40-year-old Harrison Ford. Do you understand how they did that? Not completely. <laughs> in the latest Indiana Jones movie, Harrison Ford is de-aged for a flashback where he fights the Nazis. It's not photoshopped or anything. It doesn't look that way. Hollywood studios are moving beyond traditional visual effect technology and embracing artificial intelligence, turning to companies like Mars. What does Mars stand for? Monsters, aliens, robots, and zombies. I think that's the best name I've heard for a company. Thank you. The latest Spider-Man movie released in 2021 features villains like the Green Goblin and Dr. Otto Octavius, characters who haven't been seen in years. Uh, so they took the villains from previous uh, versions of Spider-Man movies and they wanted to bring them back in that moment than when they originally performed that character. So without naming names, we helped Marvel do that on a certain character. Mars says its de-aging AI technology knocks thousands of man-hours off the visual effects process, but they say they aren't killing jobs. The demand for visual effects way outstrips the supplies, but there are a finite number of artists in the world that are able to execute on that demand. Mars has also built an AI dubbing tool aiming to make awkward, out-of-sync voiceovers like these a thing of the past. Mars uses deepfake technology to reconstruct an actor's lips to match the dubbed audio. They tried it out on me. My name First, is we Johnny sent them this I'm short clip CNN. I shot in a CNN that studio. That I've always been terrible at speaking any language other than English. In fact, I struggle with English sometimes. With that, they were able to do this. Je m'appelle Donny O'Sullivan. <laughs> Je suis un correspondant de CNN. That is very impressive. <laughs> My lips look French. I don't know who you are. This technology can even put other people's words in your mouth. But what I do have are a very particular set of skills. If you let my daughter go now, that'll be the end of it. I will not look for you. I will not pursue you. My fellow Irishman as well. LipDub was built for the purpose of allowing studios to take content in their native tongue and put that content across the globe in a way where it looks native to the viewer. For its part, Mars says it is not in the business of replacing actors. Its technology is meant to enhance performances, not create them. I think it's not a question of the technology, it's how you use it. Look, you know, I could be hit by a bus tomorrow, and that's it. But my performances can go on and on and on and on and on. And outside of the understanding that it's been done with AI or deep fake, there'll be nothing to tell you that it's not me and, uh, and me alone. Fears of how AI will be used is partly why sag after the actors' union is on strike, saying the studios want to replace them with artificial performances. The movie studios are pushing back on that claim. Technology cannot replace an actor full on. So you cannot go head to toe and redo the entire face and expect that to be photo real. The technology just isn't there right now. Now, as it relates to writers, I think they can more easily be replaced by artificial intelligence. Thanks for watching The Advocate Channel's top stories. We're on Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, and YouTube. Follow, like, and share, or check out advocatechannel.com for even more stories that advocate for you.